The best hope of changing this situation lies in education. Girls will start work around the age of six, and because girls do most of the work around the house, some are never sent to school. At the elementary school level, there are generally more than twice as many boys as girls in any class. Access to education is worse in rural, economically depressed areas. It's no coincidence that the majority of girls trafficked come from these areas. The new school we're building in Bulgaun will serve as a community center for women's groups, adult literacy courses, and classes for students who are not able to attend school regularly. The teacher of this class is Pinky Tamam. She is 16 years old and she's about to start the ninth grade. She is the first girl from Bulgaun to go to high school. Before going back to school, Pinky is teaching and serving as an excellent role model for young girls in the village. Education has already started to make a difference in Bulgaun by raising awareness of the horrible reality of prostitution and the dangers of sexually transmitted diseases like HIV AIDS. Through education, girls can gain an awareness of their rights, their right not to be forced into prostitution. Education also raises self-esteem and provides alternatives for making a living, such as pooling money to start a small business. One of the reasons we chose Bulgaun is our belief that this new school will make a difference in the future of children here. In particular, we hope the school will encourage parents to send their daughters to class instead of to the brothels of Bombay. American Baptist missionary Lauren Bethel runs a program that works with many girls who've been sold into prostitution by their parents. Do you see a difference in the, the prostitutes you would see in this country compared to prostitutes in the United States? Prostitutes in Thailand are coming from situations where they are desperate to help their mothers and fathers and brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. And so they will sacrifice themselves for their families, even as working as prostitutes. I don't think prostitutes in the West are generally sending money back home to mom and dad. This young girl, Bunong, now 18 years old, was just 13 when she came to Bethel's attention. She'd been rescued from a brothel for the second time by Thai police. Both times she'd been sold by her father who wanted money to support his opium habit. He also has explained to me that um, he feels that his life is more important than theirs and that um, whatever they can do to help him to live longer is, is really what should happen. How does she feel about what ha what's happened to her? She says, I wonder why my father would do something like that. And I feel very bad. Is she angry at him? But yet she comes back home to help him. Concerned that the same fate awaits Bunong's two younger sisters, Lauren Bethel, after months of trying, finally convinced the father to give up the two youngest daughters to her care. They're learning how to read and write and become literate. The girls will eventually end up here in the city of Chiang Mai. Bethel runs three shelters that provide food, housing, education, and vocational training for over 200 young girls, some of them former prostitutes. Others are from impoverished or broken homes, what Bethel calls high-risk situations that too often push young girls into prostitution to help their families. The education and vocational training gives them new career choices. 